Things don't really work like that in the normal world. But you know that if you zoom in close enough, they have all these weird phenomenons to them. In a 1941 short story, Isaac Asimov envisioned a world powered by solar power harvested in space. I think a related question is, is um, like, is there a higher power? Is it everything is connected? This is the true mist, one of the true mysteries of the universe. That science fiction dream came a little closer to reality earlier this year, when scientists completed the first transmission of energy from space to Earth. I fundamentally don't know, I'm curious. I've gone back and forth on it. I've, the place I've landed is, is that I'm not sure that it's a question that we as humans can really answer. You? Do I believe there's a higher power? Yeah. Absolutely. Tell me about it. Beju Bot, son of immigrants who grew up in Virginia with a passion for science sparked by your father's work at NASA's Langley Research Center. A Stanford-educated physicist and mathematician who co-founded Robin Hood alongside your college roommate, Vlad Tenev. Joining us now is Robin Hood co-founder and Aetherflux CEO, Baju Bhatt. It's great to have you. Welcome. Thanks so much for having me. The particle accelerator. What is that? That's where you take high energy particles and you collide them to study the quantum mechanical effects. This is like CERN. Yeah. Are you familiar with CERN? I am. What are they doing CERN. there? They're studying quantum field theory. Aetherflux, what does this company do when it comes to helping drive power? Einstein, with his big old brain, figured a lot of this stuff out and actually didn't believe in a lot of it when he was alive, which is weird. He famously said, God doesn't play dice or roll dice. It means that I, like God, do not play with dice and do not believe in coincidence. Uh, there's a lot of theories out there that they're trying to create many black holes and all this other stuff. Yeah, that's pretty catchy. There was a couple different things, but they were talking about how different particles will act differently if they're being observed. If yeah. there's consciousness around it. I do, yeah. What is that? Yeah, it's this thing called the uncertainty principle. And this is something that comes from quantum mechanics. What happened to the flow of innovation and progress when it came to aerospace and space? I wonder what you think. Was it government friction? You're wondering, I know you as one of the co-founders of Robin Hood. Uh, your background, though, is in physics. You have a family tied to NASA. Yeah. How did this company come about? This uncertainty principle. And to any of the listeners out there that are actual physicists, if I get something wrong here, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's too many coincidences yeah, that going is. on all at one time for there not to be something, not to be some type of a higher power. That's incredible, man. I'm kind of speechless. The version of it that I've always wrestled with is kind of what I know about physics and math and science. If you believe that these are the laws of nature, right, that these are the things that govern how the universe works, you study physics, that's fundamentally what you're doing. You're looking for a theory of how the world works. And if you look at that theory and it's looking to your eyes like it's very accurate and it really is describing the whole world around you. You're like, that's how the world works. There's no battery in this drone. No. There's no other power source. It's no. being charged from up here. Oh, yeah, correct. How could there be a human-like thing, human-like being, that has the emergent phenomenon of humanity, that is the higher calling, that's the higher being, right? Company that I 
started called Aetherflux. The mission is to commercialize space solar power. At least for me, time goes on and then you ask the question, how could you have such well-written theories without somebody writing them down? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, I think... Right? How could you not have God? Vigilance League gummy bears, legal in all 50 states. Can I have some? Yeah, man. Dig in. It's just candy. It's no funny business. Mm. Good stuff. I love gummy bears. Me too.